You're listening to The Hit List with me, Numi, and I'm joined in person by Sonny Tennant. Hello. Hello. How are you, How are you doing? doing? I'm all oh, good. Snap. Oh, snap. Who's interviewing who here? <laughs> it is so nice to have you here. You are my first guest on The Hit List in the flesh. How does it feel? It feels a privilege. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's my just... honour. I'm like blinded by the glow. I can't believe you haven't been doing it in person for a while. Well, it's just because it's so much easier to get them on the phone, isn't it? I know. <laughs> I hate that. I'd much rather be in person. But we say. dragged you down. Yes. Um, you were busking in Maidstone today, I right? Was. Uh, how was it? It was great. I love being on the streets and just, you feel free when you're performing on the streets. There's something about it. Did you know. start like busking as an artist? Not really. Like, my dad was a singer, so. I started like he he was in a band, so I used to do the pub gigs and that the pub circuit with him. Oh, he would wow. do forty five minutes, and I would do forty five minutes. Oh, that's amazing! But then I ended up just doing the full set, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, oh, "I'm getting too old for this," you know. So, but I I used to love doing it, man. I, I don't get to do pub gigs enough these days. Then it, I then I moved to weddings, and then just you just work your way up, man. It's like yeah, you know, there is something like a particular energy, isn't there, about a pub gig, Honestly. especially up north because I used to go to uni in York and I feel like that kind of northern pub energy unreal man but how was the Kent crowd today did they treat Kent you crowd? well I love it man honestly well Kent's like my second home now you know because we, we record all the songs in Dartford so nice. so for the last six years of my life I've been coming I've been like half in Dartford half in Newcastle so it's like my second home now literally do you get to explore much while you're here or is it like work only I got focus I don't know I go to the local pub that's about <laughs> it like, what's your local in it's Dartford called, it's called the Fox and Hound and I just go and play a few darts I've seen you've really? got darts in here actually now I actually I'm a darts player as well they're I, my darts I'll, so. I'll beat you I'll beat you any day <laughs> oh this is so annoying because I literally asked um, my boss yesterday if we could buy a dartboard I, for the office I would love that and I'm know. so annoyed that it's not here yet because then we could have done I, a little 1v1 they call me Trouble 20 Tennis. Do they? <laughs> <laughs> nah, All right, do. well, you're going to have to come back because I, I need that match uh, now. Um, so how's it been, like, splitting your time 50-50, Kent? Actually, it's, now it's just been my life since I was about 15 now. Like, I met Joe and Dave, my managers, who are sitting on the set here. You can't see them, <laughs> but I just... It's been, like, just a part of my life for so long now. That I, like, bless me, mum. I don't, like... It's just so normal. I used to miss the family back in the day and that, but... I spend so much time here now. I like I, it's like literally my second home. So, where's your favourite place to go in Kent? For, Apart from the Fox and Hound. I don't know. I don't like I say. I don't really get. It is pretty much work, yeah, work, yeah. work. And I, I like Bexley Village. Is yeah, that Kent? It's kind of like on the on the cusp. That see, Darfad's on the cusp. <laughs> so I don't really get too far down into Kent, really, but. I don't know. Technically, dark if I is Kent. We'll have so to get you. We'll have to get you on the coast at some point. I a nice old beach day. I like the little river outside here. It's really nice. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Sometimes it, the the River Medway can really be stunning, and yeah. you forget that you're on an industrial estate. <laughs> <laughs> and then you I turn love, around and you're like, oh uh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> well, I, I live by the I live by the sea, and I live in South Shields, which is just next to Newcastle, but. It's just so nice living on a seafront, man, isn't it? Yeah, just you just so can't beat that sea air. Aesthetic. That's my word <laughs> of the week. <laughs> so, um, you're a new name to a lot of our listeners, but mm. I do imagine that that's not going to stay the case for long. Like, you've got 3.2 million likes on TikTok, mm. over 300k followers. It's been a huge year for you. You've got yeah. synced on Love Island, your Aye, cover nah. of Ariana Grande's My Everything. How did it feel hearing your voice on TV? It's mad, like... It's a bit weird to be honest, but I, I love it. Obviously, it's like it's such good promotion for the tune. Yeah, it's mad because they don't really tell you it's gonna be on there as well. So do like, they know? Sometimes I was just sitting watching it, and I was just like, "What the hell?" It's like that's mad. That's quite yeah, a good it? tactic from them, isn't it? it They're is. like, "Now you have to watch the show. We've guaranteed uh, all these list watches." But it's, it's all it's all like filmed over twenty four hours, isn't it? And then mm. I think if the song fits the storyline, then they'll put you on. It's like it's all just quick quick fire. They put it on, but I. I, I quite like not having the the warning, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Then we made to text and say, "Oh, you're on Love Island. It feels good, you know." There is something like it's it's kind of weird, isn't it? People talk a lot about how important TikTok is at the moment for musicians, yeah. but Love Island is actually like really powerful I, for I mean, musicians. It's, a, it's mad. Like we've got we've got one in the Shazam charts the next day, and like just give it such a boost. It's a good feeling, like you know. But TikTok, obviously, that is massive now, like yeah, isn't it? It's just, it is crazy, I, like, how much it can propel. How do you feel? Because I love having a, a little philosophical deep dive on TikTok <laughs> with artists. Right. How do you feel about it? It feels great. Like, I just started during lockdown. I think I was bored in the house, and I was yeah. like, how can I 
Like, I was put off doing TikTok. Like, I was like, because at the time, it's like, oh, just lads are doing dances on there. And <laughs> so I put it off for a while. But then my cousin was like, you've got to get on this now. Shannon, if you're listening, then that's for you. She did tell us to get on it. And then it just worked, you know? And I, yeah. then I started just enjoying doing it every day. And like, what covers can I do? Oh, could I put an original on there? Like, maybe that'll do well. Just like, it gives you a boost, to be honest, that it's working on there. Because it's yeah. so important now. I think it's amazing as well, because you... I, th- I think it's been really good for like your style of music as well because mm-hmm. people love to get very <laughs> emotionally vulnerable on TikTok, don't they? I know. So like slower, like emotionally vulnerable songs, people are like, I'm about to tell I you know. the saddest story you've ever heard. I think people just go on the phones on a night and they're just ready to like, they've had a bad day, <laughs> I want to cry. I'm going to cry <laughs> to this song and it's going to look very aesthetic. Uh, and that does seem like the sad songs work on there like, and if I'm doing me runs and that, you know, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows what does well on there, do you know what I mean? I, Sometimes yeah. I'll, put, I'll put something up that I think's going to do rubbish and then it'll do really well. Yeah. And I just, nobody knows, but... I think that's kind of the interesting... I was literally thinking about this this morning because there's obviously a lot of discussion at the moment. We've heard uh, labels, like, pressuring artists to, like, you have to make a viral TikTok mm-hmm. before you can release the song. But really, like, nobody actually knows what works. Aye. And I feel like you kind of just have to enjoy it and use the app for the app and yep. then see see what happens. The thing with me is just, like, obviously my niche is singing. Yeah. So, like, I think if I just post something that I love to sing and I'm really into it then that's the main ingredient you know as long as you're happy doing it and you're loving yeah. it you know yeah 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 I think it's like if you're doing content that you love then mm-hmm. things will come it from it comes that. across doesn't it whereas comes if across. you were like do, do you think we'll ever see a TikTok dance oh, from Sunny Town yeah, <laughs> maybe if I'm drunk <laughs> a few pints deep okay odds on can someone go to the bar please <laughs> Um, so getting to know you a little bit as an artist like how would you we said a little bit you know slower emotionally vulnerable but how would you describe your music I would describe my music as soulful I love soul music Mm. I definitely I am a bit of a like if I was listening to music (laughs) it it is depressing to be honest (laughs) I just that's just what hits me the most you know Mm. like I do love an upbeat song as well but like I just that's I'm, when I'm writing a song, I pour my emotions out into that, you know what I mean? So it often ends up being a little bit sad. Yeah, <laughs> but I love that. Like, I think I think you can have, you know, there's definitely room for a boogie and a little upbeat, but sometimes I, you do just need to have a cathartic cry, don't you? I'm quite an upbeat person as well, though, you know? So yeah. sometimes when I'm in the studio, we'll just, like, write a proper upbeat thing, you know? There's uh, a few upbeat ones there that are probably going to come out, to be honest. So. Really? I, oh, I'm excited. I, I think people are just used to the sad stuff now, so it's like, I don't want to get locked into that. No, you, you, you want to kind of show that your, your flavour. But I think sometimes that can then be, like, really refreshing if people people are like oh well, this is only that I've, I've heard this from this artist before yeah and exactly. then you give them something different they're like oh we know. love the range <laughs> um who are your biggest musical influences um james morrison definitely who i was lucky enough to go on tour with as well I, su- yeah. I supported him on tour then um stevie wonder definitely paolo mendicini is a big one actually do you like his new album I, I've only heard a couple through the echoes I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's just so amazing. Like, his range and just his voice is so good. Yeah. I'd say he's actually my favourite artist ever. Yeah. Just like Candy, Last Request, all them. Like, them first couple albums were unreal as well. Are they like your go to karaoke songs? I maybe. Actually, no, it's probably like Angels, Robbie Williams. Or but something. that's a classic. <laughs> or Red, that's Red Daniel absolute, Merriweather, that's one as well. Absolute classic. Just get the go crowd going in, a, in Newcastle, like. I'm loving <laughs> angels. They just love it. I can imagine in a karaoke bar in Newcastle, it really does go off. I miss it. You make miss home, yeah, you know. <laughs> You're like, Ken's great, but we could bring the karaoke energy. I haven't been home in a while, that's all. I don't know. I've been working hard, man. Yeah. It's time to grind. Yeah. <laughs> you you got to love it. you got to love it. you got to get that back. <laughs> I know. Um... So, what are you working on? What can we expect? Obviously, you had um, your single "Don't Want a Heart" yeah. came out a couple of weeks ago, sixteenth of September. Exactly, yeah, gives a chance, man. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want no. to promote it? <laughs> no, I said "Don't Don't Want a Heart." Um, I that's that's how. So we're literally we're going old school with this one. We mm-hmm. want to get on the streets. That's why we're doing the busking tour. Want to hand out flyers. Want to get new fans out because. I love TikTok and that, but it's like you're behind a screen. You don't you don't actually see these people in person. Yeah, we've got gigs in the works as well, which. Um, I'm just a proper live like artist, you know. Yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I want to be performing all the time. Yeah. But, um, so it's just nice to be out in the streets and meeting people and like, ah, oh, new songs out. And if if people are already following us and they go to their area, they can come down and 
it's just nice to meet people in it. I'm quite I, a social bloke, so yeah, I, I, I can tell. <laughs> um, yeah, I really like the idea of the busking tour as well because it is. I think it is really great. There is something magical about hearing a song that you really like live that I, you're just not going to capture. Even obviously on your TikToks, you mm-hmm. are technically singing live because you're not. You know, it's not like exactly. you're, you're not doing a Lewis Capaldi where you're playing the MP3 out to, <laughs> to a stadium. Yeah. Um, but. Yeah, there is just something magical about like, and and I think that's like a really cool opportunity as well because they're essentially it's it's a free mini gig, isn't I, it? You oh, know? it's class, man. In I this do, economy, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm doing live streams as I was saying to them today. Maybe they just want to sit in bed and watch the live streams. Yeah. Actually, but to no, be fair, I get served that a lot on my TikTok of like people busking yeah. and just doing a live, and I think that's really cool because you just you know literally you sat uh, in bed, yeah. bit of live music. I get that as well. Like, there's some talented people on there, man, isn't there? And soon to follow in a city near you. <laughs> <laughs> but let's talk about that, that single a little bit. So how did that song come about? So me and Joe, who's sitting here, we wrote the song and we've got a friend. I'm not going to say her name because it's a bit, I don't know. She probably doesn't want to be on radio. But um, she was just going through a breakup like at the time. I, 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 like, I feel like that we went in the studio that day and we're like, oh, didn't really know what we were right about today. That happens sometimes, you know. It doesn't always cut, like flow naturally. So... She was on the phone, uh, Joe's friend. So I was just like, oh, I'm going through this with this boy. I just don't want a heart anymore. And we were like, we looked at each other and we're like, right, let's g- get the guitar. Get the guitar. Can we borrow that? Uh, but I was, I've been through that as well. I've had heartbreak before and that. And I just thought that was such a mad way of putting it. I don't want a heart anymore. Like, mm. it just said, it was like, I don't know, I just thought it was a really nice way to put it. And I think it's something that everyone can relate to. Because that is how you feel. You're literally just like... You're like, I don't want this. Your stomach's turning every day. Like, I just take that out of me. Yeah. (laughs) Get it away. But I just thought it was a good concept. And then we just, we we literally wrote it in 45 minutes or something. It just came like that. So that's always a sign of a good song, I think. And what's the response has been like so far having it out? Like, how's it feel? Honestly, it's just been so good. Like, people are just so supportive of us, you know? It's like, it's it's lovely to see. Yes, I don't deserve it. Some reason it's a matter. No, I still you feel can't like say I'm, that. I'm a little. You got to back yourself. I just feel like I'm a lad from South Shields and that, and it's like it feels pretty good that like everyone's just getting behind us and that. Really feels like we're going up and up and up, like you know. Yeah. It's just like it's great. It's great. The feeling. only way is up. The only way is up. <laughs> I was I was gonna do that, but you did that, and I'm not a singer, so we're I'm glad sync. it was that way around. <laughs> I mean, that didn't sound too good. Yet, to be honest. <laughs> um, so you've said that you've been working really hard. Mm-hmm. You said you've got some gigs in in the lineup. We have. Are you allowed to? Say, I know your manager's in the room. Well, it's and not. There, there it's is not a little like, red light on your forehead. So it's not, <laughs> it's not finalized yet, but definitely London shows coming up at the end of this year. And now I want to get a couple of North ones, like Manchester and Newcastle mm. as well. Like people, people keep asking online and that. So just, I'm happy to perform whenever, me. And new music coming as well, or are you new just music, gonna? We've got like so we're doing like TikTok covers, and if they, what if one blows up, then we're like, well, might as well just do it. Like everyone's asking for Spotify versions, so right, yeah, yeah. So we're just doing them hand in hand with originals as well. Maybe a little acoustic, I do on a heart. So, aye. So basically, watch this. We've face. got loads in the pipeline, to be honest. So. It's just what's next. That is the question. You yeah. Know? It's not like, oh, we're, we're not like scraping around for songs. Or anything, <laughs> it's like, you know? I've released this and that's it. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I should like start posting like maybe a, per week like a new original. And if one goes really well on like TikTok or something, then it's good to have TikTok there to like yeah, ga- it, to gauge what to have next. You it's know like I mean? a little test bed, isn't it? Because mm-hmm. you can be like, is this good? And yeah. then if there's an appetite for it, I, you can you can release it. And if not, you can you can be like, okay, maybe. We- Maybe we don't release this. That's a discover. dangerous game, actually, though. Because, <laughs> like, what if there's one I love and then no one really reacts to it, then it's like, oh, is that never going to come out now? Then? Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, like, yeah. Sometimes you've got to give it a bit, you know. Exactly. you got to make them want to. <laughs> I, people need a couple of listens sometimes, one, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. All right, we're going to play a little game that we play on the hit list called Hit or Miss. Uh, great way for our audience to get to know you. I'm just going to throw things out there and you're going to tell me whether it's a hit or a miss for you. Okay. So we're going to start out with the ultimate. Marmite. I miss. 100%. Yeah. yeah. It's it's not for me. Um, phone calls. Hit. Any day I don't text anyone. Really? I don't reply to any roommate or anything. It's really bad. You're not one of those people where you're like, oh no, I have to I have to make a doctor's appointment. I don't want to make this phone call. Um, oh yeah, I'm like that. Oh, is that how you meant it? I, I, I just, I'm not very good on my phone, to be honest. Yeah. I'm just... <laughs> 
anything just manager yeah you saw <laughs> can, that. You, this is what it's like having three million yeah. likes on tiktok now i, I don't have to should probably ring me mom to be honest <laughs> <laughs> are you on the be real hype is that here or miss i miss at the minute but maybe i should I think it's quite uh, it's interesting that currently the only people that I have on Be Real, we all work in radio. Oh, right. <laughs> I think it's really interesting that all the media people have been like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even though every day it's everyone in front of like a wave file uh, <laughs> or a studio, it's like the same picture every I'll probably, day. I'll probably get into it eventually, I don't know. I think it'd be quite cool for you like on tour and stuff, exactly. you know, different, this different week gig. Should, in fact, I'm going to do it after this interview. All there right? you go, I'll <laughs> take credit for that. Um, socks in bed. Oh, miss. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to remember if it's like what words it is. Hit and miss. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a miss. I, I, binge watching shows. Hit. What show are you binging at the moment? Watch Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh my God. Oh God. That I is, haven't watched it yet because I'm a bit worried that it's going to freak me out. It was quite traumatising to be yeah. honest. Like, <laughs> watching it. I was like going to bed and like, oh. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I was like, I don't know. It's definitely like a show that you watch like middle of the day. You know what I got the other night? Sleep paralysis. Did you? For the first ever time. I was like proper in bed, like felt like someone was grabbing us. Like I was awake but asleep. Yeah, yeah. I've never had that before. That's it's so spooky. weird. I don't know why I said that, but yeah. <laughs> speaking of spooky things, Halloween's coming up. <laughs> Get a sleep paralysis demon here. That's weird. Anyway. That is creepy. I've n- I don't think I've ever had that before, but I've heard about it and I've always been like, I don't that does not sound. It hasn't happened since. I like, thank God, but so maybe no more like horror shows. For I, a maybe while. that's to do with Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, Jeffrey. Um, reality TV hit all day. Just that's a little downtime for me as well did you watch love island just to see if you were on it or did you also watch it because you got into it <laughs> just because i was on it to be honest. <laughs> this year this year i didn't even get into it really yeah i don't know i just i think you've got to watch from the beginning then if i miss a few i'm just like oh it's done now it is quite it is like you have to really commit to uh, it because then you get you connect to the characters and that and just we're well, not characters like contestants <laughs> well but, sometimes it's a bit <laughs> blurry <laughs> isn't it i <laughs> now nah, but now nah, this is I'm trying to think what reality TV I do like. I don't really watch much TV, but I do like if um, if we've had a long day in the studio, it's nice to watch some beep telly. <laughs> <laughs> I get exactly what you mean. Uh, camping. A hit. Yeah. We're in the, we're in the camper van at the minute, man. <laughs> going up the country, it's great. I'm ready to go. Right. Dating apps. Miss. Yeah. They can... Never works for me. I'm just, I'm just, like I say, I'm terrible on my phone, so. It, it's like just barren at the moment isn't it it's like a hellfire i feel like girls only go on there to like promote the instagram guilty i'll follow us on instagram and then i like, follow them on us i did do tinder for a while but i that's where i go out of it well now you're probably <laughs> getting a few to the girls po- on tinder <laughs> And then you're like, that's it. <laughs> probably getting to the point now where you can't get a dating apps because people are just be like oh my god it's sunny nah. um the beach Hit. Yeah, because you live next to it. Exactly. I feel very lucky to live next to the beach. Do you do any? Do you surf or anything? Nah. Probably too I've cold prob- up north. I've actually <laughs> never gone in the sea, to be honest. It's just nice to look at, isn't it? I'm a bit um, scared of the sea, actually. Really? I've got a bit of a fear of it. Like when we go abroad and that, I'm just, I'll am just put my ankles in, but that's it. I'm wondering if maybe the beautiful beaches of Kent could help you, like... You no, know, you could just start like doing immersion therapy. Probably like, be a bit warmer than the North, the North Sea. I know that. Maybe what you're actually scared of is the cold. <laughs> Maybe. I. I. Okay. Last one. Staying friends with your ex. That's a hit for me, like. Really? Because the first, like, the first one, I, was, I think the first two, with me, I've only had three. But <laughs> we fell out, but then like I've reconnected and we're friends and that now, like with a couple, and then. It's much nicer. Yeah. Because you you're don't. you not scared to go out and that and like bump yeah. into them anymore. <laughs> that is the I wouldn't fear. say you're messaging every day or anything, no. but like at least civil, you know. Yeah, that is the adult thing to do. It is. Um, hopefully one day I'll get there as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are going to get you to play your song live now. Buzzing. My name is Sonny Tennant and this is my new single, Don't Want a Heart. I can tell it's over this love is stone cold sober I don't even know if we belong There ain't no sun in summer The rainbow's lost its colors 
I can even feel the pain I'm numb oh. So I'll take it on the chin I can never win You're never wrong Oh yeah Maybe there just ain't a happy ever after After all Oh Cause I'm damned if I do And I'm damned if I don't One day you love me The next day you show me the door Boy But baby I'm torn I don't wanna hide anymore I don't wanna hide anymore Hey Well what's it all for Baby I'm torn I don't wanna hide anymore Crisis talk for hours Who can overpower Spinning round in circles on repeat And those question marks are creeping Week out and week in Maybe I should know when I'm beat oh, oh. So I'll take it on the chin I can never win You never roar Oh yeah Maybe they just ain't a happy ever after, after all. Oh, cause I'm damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't. One day you love me, the next day you show me the door. Oh, but baby, I'm torn. I don't wanna hide anymore. Don't want a heart anymore Well, what's it all for? Baby, I'm torn I don't want a heart anymore Hey, Woo! thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us in the studio and playing your song live. It was so beautiful. No problem. My um, pleasure. Where can people find you online? So, at Sunny Socials is all social media. Amazing. S-O-N-N-Y for my name. S-O, not you. No. <laughs> Spelt, pronounced like Sunny. I think that's pretty much it, though. Like, yeah. I'd, I'd, it's like literally all at Sunny Socials. Well, so that's great. It's amazing. We love the consistency. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much oh, for coming on. Good luck us, in honestly. the rest of your busking tour as well. And super excited to hear what's coming next. Yes. Amazing. Thank you.